In today's review, we're having a look at Olaf from the Disney Frozen line. Um, oddly enough, I wasn't even going to pick up any of the Frozen ones, but they were on sale at a deal that I couldn't pass up on. So, well, now I have a few of them. So, you know, we have in front of the box, you know, standard fare, nothing too, you know, nothing too different or radically different from packaging is the same. In this wave we have Elsa, Olaf, Sven, Anna, and Kristoff. And there's um, Olaf on the side. One thing I'm liking is that they didn't just take a pop vinyl body and just, you know, do what they do. They actually uh, wound up making a custom look for him, which is kind of cool. So let's pop him out of the packaging and, oh, he... Ay, Gavon. gonna futz with the brightness a little bit so you can see that mold line there's really no reason why this should have been multiple pieces everyone I mean it's not Ugh, they couldn't even cover it up good like this is not good I mean he looks great from the front the paint jobs nice I mean, he's a really unique looking figure, it's just, that mold line is not very appealing. I mean, he's okay, if, just don't look at him from the back. I would not pay full retail for this figure. If you can avoid paying retail for it don't don't pick you know what don't pick up Olaf he isn't worth the money this alone is such a glaring problem I am disappointed pop vinyl you are normally so good with these figures and I mean one of the most easily likable characters in Frozen and you do stuff like this I mean, this is going to be a subtle mold line. This is a complete seam, which is something I haven't seen in any figure before this. Now, I don't know if it's because they did a different molding style with the thing, but it doesn't even look like, what? why is there even a seam? They could have just done one whole solid... I, I don't know. Ugh, pass on this one.